All right. I've been dreading this. I haven't even read ahead, but I'm dreading it. <laughs> it's a long section. Section 20 of the DNC. But I got a pretty good buzz going, so let's do it. Revelation on church organization and government. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. Given through Joseph Smith the prophet, April 1830. Sometime in April. Preceding his record of the revelation of this revelation, the prophet wrote, We obtained of him, in brackets, Jesus Christ, the following, by the spirit of prophecy and revelation, that being the Holy Ghost, or is it a different spirit? Which not only gave us much information, <laughs> but also pointed out to us the precise day upon which, according to his will and commandment, we should proceed to organize his church once more upon the earth. The Lord again attests the genuineness, genuineness of the Book of Mormon. He gives commandment respecting baptism. Defines the functions of the several offices of the priesthood. Specifies the duties of members. Prescribes the mode of baptism. And administering and of administering the sacrament of bread and wine directs the keeping of records of church membership. One the rise of the Church of Christ in these last days, and we're talking about what eighteen uh, is it eighteen thirty yet? Yeah, eighteen thirty. April of 1830. In these last days being 1,830 years since the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That first time. Not all those other times. Uh, in the flesh. It being regularly organized and established, agreeable to the laws of our country, by the will and commandments of God, in the fourth month and the sixth day of the month, which is called April, the fourth month, like you just said. But in case we didn't get that, you gave us both you give us a variety of choices in our understanding that it's fucking April. I don't know. I'm born in April. Yeah, it's my birthday. Sometime in April. Two. Which commandments were given to Joseph Smith Jr. Who was called of God and ordained an apostle of Jesus Christ to be the first elder of this church. Three, and to Oliver Cowdery, Cousin Ollie, who was also called of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to be the second elder of this church. and ordained under his hand. For, and this according to the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
to whom be all glory, both now and forever. Amen. <laughs> After it was truly manifested unto this first elder, Joey, Jr., and he had received a remission of his sins. He was entangled again in the vanities of the world. Six. But, after repenting and humbling himself sincerely, through faith, God ministered unto him by an unholy angel, by an holy angel, not an unholy angel, whose countenance was as lightning, and whose garments were pure and white, above all other whiteness, all those other whitenesses. Even bright white, here just ain't nothing next to this white. Seven and gave unto him commandments which inspired him. Eight, and gave him power from on high by the means which were before prepared to translate the Book of Mormon. Nine, which contains a record of a fallen people and the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's got it all, the fullness of it, really. So we don't need that other book. Huh? Uh, to the Gentiles and to the Jews also. Ten. Which was given by inspiration and is confirmed to others by the ministering of angels and is declared unto the world by them. I'm waiting. Where's my angel? No, really. Send an angel. Have him explain shit to me. I'm on board. It's that easy. Or unconfound all the languages of the world. That would do too. That would work. <clears throat> okay. I lost my mind. Sorry. Ten. Which was given by inspiration. There I am. And is confirmed to others by the ministry of angels. That's where I got lost. And is declared unto the world by them. Eleven. Proving to the world that the Holy Scriptures are true. Really. Oh, beg to differ. And that God does inspire men. And call them to his holy work in this age and generation, being the 1830s, the start of the 1830s, the, the latter days, which are still happening, and continue to happen. We've been in the latter days for 2,000 fucking years. Lost my place. God damn it. And generation, as well as in generation, as well as in generations of old. Okay. Twelve. Thereby showing that he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. That's been said before. Did you need to waste a verse on that? Thirteen. Therefore, having so great 
witness by them. Shall the world be judged, even as many as shall hitherto come to a knowledge of this work? Uh, I think they're talking about this. Needs a new paint job. Uh, Fourteen. And those who receive it in faith and work righteousness shall receive a crown of eternal life. That's what it's all about, right? You want to live forever. Death is scary. Oblivion, which existed before you were here, <laughs> it can't happen now that I've been here. Sorry. Life ain't fair. Ain't that a bitch? Sometimes bitches are fun. And life is the best game going right now, so I'm, I'm in it for the duration. <sighs> Where the fuck am I? Fifteen. But those who harden their hearts in unbelief and reject it, it shall turn to their own condemnation. It's not a hardness of heart. It's a uh, sanity of brain. It's a willingness to believe shit, but or consider shit, stuff, ideas, but believe it completely. I'm sorry, man. I can't do that. But I could be convinced an angelic visit would do it. And not while I'm on acid. I'm just kidding. I haven't done that in years. Uh, I'm good now. Kind of don't need it anymore. <laughs> 16. For the Lord God has spoken it. Really? It says so here. And we, the elders of the church, have heard and bear witness to the words of the glorious majesty on high. <laughs> to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. 17. But those things we know that there is a God in heaven who is infinite and eternal. He's both. He's both eternal and infinite at the same time. Just don't think about it too hard. You'll get a brain cramp. <laughs> it helps if you just believe. <laughs> uh, that cost me dearly. I, lost, I fucking lost my place. God damn it. Oh, yeah, is infinite and everlasting, the same unchangeable God who just broke into three parts, but he's still unchangeable. And he's got all these saints also you can pray to, but it's not polytheism, honestly. All right, I forgot, wrong mythology. <sighs> The framer of heaven and earth and all things which are in them. 18. And he created man, male and female, after his own image. Really? You could have done better than this. <clears throat> I mean, we like it, but that's just us. I mean, the only way that makes sense is if human beings made of God. That can't be right. We made God in his image, and he returns the favor. I get it. All right. And in his image, he created them. Okay, there we go. 19. And gave unto them commandments that they should love and serve him and kiss his ass. Blow some smoke rings up there while you're at it. 
Just tell him how great he is. He likes that. The only and true God. Wait, the only living and true God. There we go. And he and 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 that he should be the only being who they should worship. Don't be kissing some other god's ass. They're not real anyway, or they're devils or something. God made them to test your faith. That's it. And he made all those fossils to test your faith too. Because he wants a whole bunch of... He made too many. Oh shit, we, pr we made too many. We gotta like burn off at least 99% of them. I know, we'll play this fucking head game where we get the most gullible win. <laughs> you know, the last will be first, even if there's fucking billionaires. <sighs> 20! We'll get there. <laughs> 20. But by the transgression of these law, these holy laws, it became sensual and devilish. It became fallen man. 21. Wherefore. Sorry, excuse me. Hang on. Sorry, I know what's coming over me. Devil! That's it. Or the spirit. The dispelled, the, the fermented spirit, at least. <sighs> Devilish. And become fallen man. 21. Wherefore, the Almighty God gave his only begotten Son for. No, wait, no, no, wait, wait. wait. Hercules. No. Uh, Apollo. No, Krishna? God damn it. It eludes me. Hang on. His only begotten son. He should have wrote it down. His name right there. I already forgot it. Because I almost never hear about it. It's not like I can go through a whole day without hearing it. As is written in those scriptures which have been given of him. I doubt that. I've read them, and it sounds like Hezekiah to me. <clears throat> 22. He suffered temptations, but gave no heed unto them. <laughs> he died a virgin, because he wanted to know what it was like to be a human being. But then he deprived himself of all those human experiences. I mean, he did that in like a mere 30 some years. That was enough. He got it. He figured us all out. <laughs> totally lost my place. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. 23. He was crucified, died, and rose again the third day. Boy, that number appears a lot. It must be magic. That 3, 7, 40, 12, uh, 30, I forgot what the others are. It means nothing to me, by the way. But it might go on my next lotto ticket. <laughs> All right. 24. And descended into heaven. To sit down on the right hand of the Father to reign with almighty power according to the will of the Father. So he's not really in charge then. He's he's doing his father's will still. So he's what's the point? He already died, came back to life and I get it. God was sick and tired of hearing everybody pray, and he went, I know. I'll break off a third of myself and 
One's a fuzzy, warm feeling, uh, burning in the bosom. The other's uh, some, I'll just knock up some virgin somewhere and kill him horribly for the sins of humanity because people need, there has to be blood and suffering or I can't forgive anybody. Wow, that makes sense all of a sudden. No, I guess not. <clears throat> 25! That as many as would believe and be baptized in his holy name and endure in faith to the end should be saved. Wow. I think I'll break right there and I'll continue on at verse 26. Wow. Stay tuned.